Hello and welcome back to the another video of OpenAI Chat GPT. This video we are going to start using the Chat GPT into our scripts or into our code. So this is the first and the basic example and we are going to see the many more examples in upcoming videos. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos to learn more about Chat GPT. And I am going to use Python as the programming language. You can try into any other language. The basic concept will remain same for all developers. Alright, so before we are starting writing the code and we, we see the first example how to use the chat GPT API. Let's go through few documents. So I will just open openapi.com and then under developers you can just go on the documentation and API references. So I have already signed up. You might have to sign up to see more details. So here is the overview, quick start and net next step. So if you want to start, you can go to quick start. And from there you will get some small, small information which you can utilize. All right. So this is one of the example which they have given. You can explore to all of these options click on getting started so from getting started you might just start using and understand how do you write the code of chat gpt okay now how will you get the api if you have not seen my previous video you can just first of all sign up i have already signed up so i will use the login Okay, after login I will come on this uh, particular page and from personal so the moment you will click on view API key you will be able to see the key and you can create a new key as well other than this what we can do is we can just have a look on what more services are there so I will have a look on this list which the, this list is the, the list of all the services that OpenAI is providing and we are going to see the example in upcoming videos for all of these Now the next thing, list of models. So these are the all models in OpenAI. If you will come here, model compatibility. So all of these information you will find on this page. Or mostly you can browse everything from the left menu. So let's get started. I will just go to my PyCharm. And I have already created this environment in PyCharm. If you are not aware how to create Python environment, I will share the link in the description. You can just download the Python and you can start right away. So after creating the environment for a new project, the first thing is we have to install the required library. So in Python, the required library to use chat GPT is OpenAI terminal. And let's install. It is install open. AI. We have installed successfully installed the OpenAI. So now import OpenAI, and the next step that we need our API key. So what we can do is we can just copy the API key from here. So I have already copied my API key. So API key is a secured information. So ensure that you have that secured. Okay, before we go to the open, before we use the open API key, we have to declare our organization also. So in settings, how to get the organization details or the organization code. So in settings, you will go, you will have the organization here. Okay, I am just uh, hiding this information. So you can copy the information from here. So once you, when you will create the API key, you will have the access to this information as well. So open AI dot organization. And then next line will be open AI dot API key. Alright, the now next step is that you, the 
this chat GPT generate the response based on the input. So you require the input. So to get the input in Python, I am using this input and I will take one space here. So this variable will take the input from keyboard. All right. So now next thing is like how will we how we will use this API key to generate the response. So here is the code on your screen right now. So response equals to open AI dot completion dot create and then you have to pass these four parameters. So this statement is starting from here and closing here. These are the parameters that these are the parameters that you can see in the line. So this is the model name. We have just seen the model list of open AI. So if you want to have a look once again, click here on models. Okay, so here is the overview of model. You can click from here as well and click on overview. And we are going to use one of the model from here. So you can see this model we are going to use. All right, let's get back to the code. Now, once we have the input, we will get the response in form of, we will get the response from OpenAI in form of JSON and we have to convert or we have to take the desired output. So first of all, let's see the complete output. So I am going to print the uh, response. Let's run this script. So it is asking me the input, give me, tell me something that is the uh, input basically. So let's use a simple example, how old is the earth? Okay, so you can see this response is generated. I will just expand this window. So once first we have choices and then we have the other information about the response that we have got. So, but right now we are focusing on this choices. So if you can see choice is here, the, the answer which we are searching is here. All right, now the next step is like, how will you extract the particular answer? So we will see now, how will we get the required information from open AI response? So let's understand this. So in the choices, it is a list basically. The first element of the list is choices. In choices, we have a key text. So let's say if you want to get the information of the first occurrence of the text, you have to use zero. So I will just uh, use a print here. I hope you can see the entire code on your screen and responses out of responses choice and then we need text. Let's have a look on the output once again. So choice and text and this is part of response. Okay. Now let's run this and see the information. I will just comment this line so that we are not mixing the information and getting confused here and run this now. Tell me something. How old is earth? So you can see this information here. And if you want, you can do the more engineering on this. You can create a loop and you can keep asking if user will enter exit, you will exit the loop. So those kind of functionalities you can build if you know the Python well. So let me try what is black, black hole. So you can see the information. Why this information is coming only this much? Let me explain you about the parameters now. So prompt is user input. So this is required information to generate the to generate the response token 20 so maximum 20 words of the response we will get so that means the max token and temperature is 0 or 1 so 0 means it will send you at least some output randomly and it, the maximum value is 1 so 1 will take you to the accuracy so let's say if you have kept the temperature as 1 and the confidence level of AI engine is not coming so you will not you, you might not get the answer only if the confidence level is 100% then you will get the answer. So this is basically in simple terms, it is the confidence based on the algorithms and the AI techniques. Those are working on the back end when your response is getting generated. All right, you can try some more examples and this is the starting. We are going to see many more videos. So subscribe to the channel for more videos. But right now 
to, for today. This is the only example that we have and I will see you in the next video with another example of OpenAI and ChatGPT. Thank you very much for your time. Happy learnings.